A Kia EV9 GT version apparently is coming out. Now, this is a large electric SUV. Kia is saying that they're working on having a, like a plaid mode version. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. Kia have made an EV9. It's really a very boxy-like, traditional, large SUV sort of a bit like a Nissan Patrol or a Toyota Land Cruiser, except electric, except miles better than both of those two cars that I just mentioned. The EV9 is actually pretty impressive when you consider the technology that's going into it. I made a video about that, by the way. I'll put a link in the description to my video about the Kia EV9. Kia have confirmed that a EV9 GT model is actually coming at some point pretty soon, which continues on in the concept form, you know, how Kia have made an EV6 GT. You've probably seen the video on CarWow where they actually raced it against the Ferrari and it gave it a good, actually came close to beating a Ferrari. Amazing that you can do that with like a family car now. I mean, EV6 GT, it's not exactly family family car, but it's basically a sort of a large hatchback or a small station wagon and it's insanely fast. They're gonna do the same thing to this large electric SUV. I really, really like the Kia EV9. I think it looks really good. And it's also filling a niche. I mean, even though a lot of people hate SUVs, and I get that, I understand where you're coming from, people are gonna buy them. There's nothing we can do about that. Some people do need them, by the way. So filling this niche is a good thing. So Kia said this vehicle is around the corner. I don't know exactly what that means, but hey, at least they're actually working on it. But what I think is more important for Kia, rather than focusing on a GT version of the EV9, just start selling the EV9. How about you start selling the EV9, and then worry about a GT version later on, or ramp production as high as you can of the EV9, bring the price to a reasonable level. We don't know exactly what the price is gonna be yet, by the way. Then, you know, then focus on a sports version. That's my opinion. Let me know if you agree with that in the comments. That said, this is actually pretty good news because the standard EV9 doesn't have very much power. It's considering the size, pretty, pretty powerless, in fact. It has 379 horsepower and 516 pound feet of torque, but that's the top range topping specification of the EV9. That's the all-wheel drive version, but there is a single drive version, which is the base model that costs, well, less of course, but it's even less powerful. And to give you an idea of how this compares, the standard Tesla Model X long range, which is obviously a competitor for the EV9, has 670 horsepower. The Plaid version, about 1,100. So basically the EV9 GT will have basically the same power as the standard long range Tesla Model X. And we don't know a whole lot about the details of the EV9 GT at this stage, but we do know that it will exist. So that's good news. And I'll give you an idea on the EV6 GT version of Kia's electric sports car port, or electric family car sports car portfolio here. That model has 576 horsepower and 546 pound-feet of torque. So clearly they're gonna to have to put a bit more power and torque into this large EV9 GT to get over that 600 horsepower figure. However, Kia has a 270 kilowatt motor at the front, a 160 kilowatt motor at the back. Now, if it used both of those 270 kilowatt motors, so let's say put a 270 kilowatt at the back, 270 kilowatt at the front, then you can see how that would get well over the 600 horsepower figure. In fact, that would actually equate to 724 horsepower in total. 540 kilowatt is 724 horsepower. Obviously, Kia would need a bigger battery though, otherwise the thing wouldn't go very far. And that's a big problem with the Kia EV6 GT. Its range is very low. In fact, it's under 220 miles. The standard model of the EV9 has a 99.8 kilowatt hour battery pack. In fact, that's the long range version of the EV9. I think with this kind of power, you wouldn't get that great of range out of a big SUV like the EV9. So maybe putting in a bigger battery pack would actually be a good idea. Now to give you some context on other choices here or other what competitors are doing, the GLE's Zika 001. That's their EV only brand, which is coming to Europe very soon. The Zika 001, it's five meters long. It's basically like a bigger version of the EV6, the Kia V6. 
They have a GT version of the Zika 001 with the dual motors. It's got similar power to the EV6 GT. It's a bigger car though, so it's not going to be quite as fast as EV6 GT. But at five meters long, it's actually similar length to the EV9. And it has 1,000 kilometers of range using CATL's new Kirin battery pack. So maybe if Kia said, you know what, we're going to improve the energy density of our batteries, which they've said they're going to do, they could get more range out of the existing battery packs that they already have today. Now, apparently Kia will be offering over-the-air updates, allowing you to pay extra money to get a 74 pound-feet boost. So what's that, about 100 newton meters of extra torque, you can pay extra money and then you can unlock more power. I don't personally see the point, to be honest, of an EV9 GT. I mean, an EV9, I get it. Yeah, I understand the demand for that, but a performance version, I reckon they'd be better off working on a long range, like a super long range version, say a version with 600 miles of range, like the Zika 001, which has about 600 miles of range. That, in my opinion, would be a more desirable product for families that want to do towing. This is the kind of vehicle you want to tow with, right? You want to tow your caravan, your boat, whatever it may be, I think that's probably more desirable, having that extra range to get you more towing for the families that want to go on you know, road trips and do big sort of multi-state trips. But that's just my opinion. In fact, I would love a car like a Model X or an EV9 to get my boys in the back, to get the bikes in the car, and to go on, yeah, big road trips, maybe surf trips, that kind of thing. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.